For today's video, we're gonna get some gameplay with Parasaur Jess. I was able to get her as a reward after I completed this week's Hit the Road quest, which was Penny Part 2. And her three main abilities are Seismic Smash, Face Shift, and Shock Tower. And for a standard perk, she has Saurian Instinct, which makes your abilities heal you for 7.2% of your maximum health whenever you use them. And her commander perk makes your abilities heal you for 21.5% of your maximum health whenever you use them. And this is what she looks like before you upgrade her. Anyways, let's go ahead and upgrade her. Alright, so we just maxed her out. And the only accessories we got were this helmet after the first evolution. And we also got this back blink after the second evolution. And this is what she looks like when she's fully upgraded. But in order to equip the helmet, you will have to go into your locker and equip the different edit style. And for our support team, we have Prehistoric Isa, Rex Jonesy, Ragnarok, Shock Specialist AC, and Vanguard Southie. But before we get into the gameplay, I do want to show an example of her commander perk. Whenever you use an ability, it's going to heal you for 21.5% of your maximum health. So right now we're at 652,000. And let's use our face shift. And we went up to 882,000. So we got about 230,000 health from just one ability. That's actually a lot compared to some other heroes that heal you. So in my opinion, she's definitely one of the best heroes when it comes to healing yourself. The only thing is, I don't think she's gonna be as useful when it comes to ventures because you're not gonna be able to use your abilities that much. Look, now we're all the way back, now we're full again. So yeah, you actually get a lot of help, at least when you're using Blast from the Past Team perk. And it doesn't matter which ability it is, because as you can tell, we get health from our Seismic Smash. You also get health from the Shock Tower. And you can also increase your health from Phase Shift. So it doesn't matter which ability you use, you'll still get your health. And I feel like with the Phase Shifts having such a short cooldown, you should be able to uh, use all three of them and get a lot of health back really quickly. So let's see, right now we're at 276,000. Use our three phase shifts. And now we're at 968. And we could throw that on top just to fill it up. Look, look how quickly we just got all of our health back. So her commander perk applies to all of her abilities. And I assume the same is true if you put her in your support team. And speaking of her abilities, she has Seismic Smash which uses 40 energy and has an 11 second cooldown. She also has Shock Tower, which uses 30 energy and has a 20 second cooldown. And it can also stun Hus, and it lasts for about three and a half seconds. And she also has three phase shift charges. And each of those use 15 energy and have an eight second cooldown with our current loadout. And I do want to go ahead and compare it against who I consider to be the best healing hero in Save the World, which is Birthday Jonesy or Survivalist Jonesy. So with Parasaur just we got 230,000 health after using just one ability. Right now we're at 274. 274 to 274. So with Birthday Jonesy we got about 98,000 health with just one kill. Which is obviously nowhere near as much as we got with Parasaur Jess. Again with her we got 230,000 health. So in my opinion, I would consider her to be the best healing hero in Save the World. Because of how easy it is to get your health back, all you have to do is just use an ability. And because of the amount of health you get from it. So since she's a really good healing hero, I kind of want to see how well she can survive in the storm. So the mission we're going to do is this power level 132 eliminate and collect. And Cookies is going to be helping us out. So I did go ahead and change my loadout. We're still using Blast from the Past and Prehistoric Isa. We also have Fossil Southie, Birthday Jonesy, Tricera Ops, and Flash AC. And basically I'm just gonna try to spam my face shift while we're out in the storm and try to complete the mission while we're in the storm, I guess. I don't know, we'll see. And the reason I didn't include these in our original loadout is because I wanted to see how much health we get from her by herself. All right, so I guess let's just go ahead and first Wait, should I run in the storm right away? Let, let me go ahead and kill this uh, encampment real quick. <laughs> yeah. And then I'll, I'll go to the storm because I don't even know if the storm is like closed in yet. But as soon as it does come in, we will run into the storm and I'm going to try to survive out there 
the entire time, man. As soon as I see the storm close in. Oh, man, there's a lot of encamp. Okay, there's a lot going on. So, one thing I noticed with Parasaur Jess is that she doesn't really have the best abilities when it comes to dealing damage. I don't really like the Shock Tower, Seismic Smash is not the best ability. And look, oh man, we are. Let me go ahead and heal myself. Look at that. Look, I'm full already. That's crazy. In my opinion, she's, she's the best healing hero. Because you get so much from just using your abilities get way more than all the other heroes and as you saw with birthday jonesy we get more every time it's triggered the only thing i don't like about her is that she doesn't have the the best abilities let's see if the storm is closed in yet but yeah if you ever get in trouble just face shift out of there try to face shift out of there you'll be good that's all you got to do I feel like we, should, we got a lot of kills already. How many I got? 78? Cookies ain't even loaded in yet. I'm almost done with the mission. I'll be right back in. Here's something straight to the front. One thing you will have to look out for, though, is Nature Husk. Because they can, uh, they can take your energy away, obviously. And speaking of that, she, she's probably not going to be as good when it comes to Ventures either. Because... Ventures takes your energy away, but I still think she's gonna be the best healing hero when it comes to everything else Birthday Jones is probably still better for Ventures because you don't need wait, energy for his wait, So you're telling me a one hold on just give me a second You're telling me that this character you have is healthy as a rhino? She's she's super healthy man. She is Oh, oh my gosh uh, where's, where's the storm man? I still haven't seen the storm let me see if it's oh there it is it's here cookie i gotta oh, go, go. i gotta go out in the storm man oh, yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. yep storm's here all right here we go people i guess we'll try to get some kills while we're out here oh give me a second let me put these chickens in their nest real quick okay yeah go ahead you're good we got this i probably should have used turrets but I, I didn't know we were going to do this mission till just now definitely should have used turrets though But yeah, like I said, all you have to do is just complete this week's hit the road quest and you should be able to get her. And I would recommend getting her, definitely. So make sure you try to do it sometime this week. But I think we'll go ahead and go back to the Art Deco weapons. Uh, I know I sh probably should have done this review a lot sooner, but, but yesterday we went ahead and hopped on Marvel's Avengers beta because... Uh, you can get some the Hulk can pickaxes and the Hulk Buster pickaxes by completing challenges on there. So that's why this review was kind of late. I wanted to get these pickaxes right here instead. Well, this is the Hulk Buster one. But yeah, that's why this review was kind of late. But now that we got in gameplay with her, let me know which Art Deco weapon or hero you all would like to see next. Because those are the only things we haven't reviewed yet. Well, I also wanted to take a look at the vacuum tube weapons with their new six perks. So we may review a couple of those. But yeah, there's not really anything new other than the Art Deco weapons. So let us know which one you all would like us to take a look at next. And let's go ahead and heal ourselves. Look at that. I feel like I'm cheating how much health we're getting. But we've been in the storm for like, what, three minutes now? And we haven't really had any issues when it comes to hell. Oh, oh my goodness, what are y'all doing? Let's go ahead and heal ourselves again. You're making me nervous. I really do like the fact that she has face shift, though. And I know face shift doesn't really do damage, but it's going to allow you to heal yourself like whenever you need it whenever you need it you, we honestly we probably didn't even need adrenaline rush like that's how confident i feel with parasaur jess you don't need adrenaline rush with her people just face shift 
Look, health is completely full. No issues at all. And we've been out here for like four minutes. Let's go ahead and throw down slow field. Use our shock tower. I just wish she had the teddy. I feel like she if she had a teddy instead of a shock tower. Damn, man. That I mean, I know the shock tower allows her to like it has a shorter cooldown. So you'll be able to heal yourself a lot more with the shock tower, but it doesn't last that long and it doesn't really kill a lot. Like, let's see if it kills these stuff. Oh, well, it killed them. But it doesn't really, it's not really good for dealing damage to like mist monsters and huskies. But yeah, I feel like she had the Teddy and you can go ahead and keep the Shock Tower. Teddy Shock Tower and Face Shift. Or if you want, you can go with like Teddy, Seismic, Smash, and Face Shift. Just throw a Teddy on there, man. She would have been perfect. I like Teddy. Uh, we still need more samples, Cookie. We need a lot more samples. And we don't have that much time left. I found one. So yeah, this is this is why I consider her to be like the best hero when it comes to healing yourself. Because look, even the storm don't matter. The storm has no effect on us at all. Bees don't have effect on us. If if you take damage, just phase shift away. That's all you got to do. There you go, A1. I got some. Yeah, we only need three more. I think we're good. We need two more. Just two more. Honestly, I feel like she's a must-have hero. Only because, like, I don't know what kind of modifiers we're going to get with future venture zones, but I feel like there's definitely going to be some certain situations where she can be useful. So make sure you try to get her before she's gone. Look, they can't do anything to me, man. This is... I feel bad for them, almost. They probably think I'm a bullet sponge. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I feel like, a bullet sponge. A bullet sponge. For real, like, it's... I don't want to say she's invincible, but... Damn, man, she's pretty close. She is pretty close, man. Invincible Parasaur Jess. Have you gotten her yet, Cookie? No, not yet. I haven't. You need to get her, man. I'm gonna try to get her, see if I can get her to, uh, tonight, later. I was thinking we could also put... A Z uh, what's her name? Isa, Arlene Isa in our support team and use a melee weapon. So you could get life leech and get health that way. Uh, we couldn't use Alchemist Sarah because we don't have Smoke Bomb. But yeah, this was like one of the healthiest loadouts I could come up with. I was also thinking we could use Bomb Squad Kyle, but instead I chose Flash AC. So we could spam our phase shift whenever we need it. But that'll do it for our first Parasaur Just gameplay. For those of you who have tried her, let us know what you all think about her. And we just survived for seven minutes in the storm, Cookie. Hey, that is the healthiest freaking uh, dinosaur girl ever. All right, so we got a level two loot chest with some gold, survivor, and hero XP. But yeah, that'll do it for our first Parasaur Just gameplay. Definitely a fun hero to use. And again, I would strongly recommend that you try to get her. Anyways, big shout out to Cookies for helping us out. Hope y'all found it useful and thanks for watching.